I do I do want a family. Yeah. That's something that I would like to do. Yeah. I don't I don't feel like I'm chasing anything because I think chasing makes me stressed and yeah. worry makes me stressed. I'm a Muslim. Yeah. And I believe in God and I believe things come at a certain time. I think you still have to put in work. You don't just yeah. sit there and go, you know, yeah, it's going to happen. Right? You know, mm-hmm. but you have to ha- I have a certain faith. I, I feel things that um are for you will come to you. Yeah. And you can't chase things that are not for you. Yeah. Um, it just brings you stress and unless it's stress in your life. Definitely. So Definitely. Um, I, for me, I'm content when my family is content. Um, I'm content when my family is happy. Yeah. Um, yeah. I had a, a bereavement in my family. My brother passed away like about a year ago. Oh, sorry. Yes. Yeah, so that was really difficult. Sorry. No, it's okay. It happens. Are you close? Um, yeah, very close. Sorry. Yeah. Um, Cause I'll tell you what, like you know, my my I have a special needs brother. Yeah. He doesn't talk. Okay. And last week he was missing. Oh my God. Yeah. So there was just this crazy scare that we had, and it's through social media, the one place that I spend a lot of time. Yeah. Like we did these crazy flyers, retweets, and everybody tweeting in and out and yeah. everything. Yeah. And actually, Facebook came through. Oh my God! Can you imagine that? That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. So I mean, I'm just saying that I, I know it can like just, uh, like just adjusting to those kinds of situations can be yeah like really confusing yeah. and also still mm-hmm. just regardless of what you yeah. have your achievements and stuff. Family yeah. is so important that it's so important. if it's just taken away from you. Yeah. And then you start realizing like, oh, I really need to start paying more attention to... Yeah, I think when you get older as well, you realize your parents are getting older. They are. And you, you notice like health things and you realize well, they're not going to be here forever. Yeah. And these things worry me more. It's like mortality. Listen. And actually... I I'll tell you what. Yeah. Just because you mentioned that and I don't want to forget it. Like every time my mom calls me or yeah. my sister calls me, I'm not even happy when they call me because I'm like, is something wrong yeah that's the first thing that comes to my mind yeah. is something wrong is something wrong and for the first time when my sister called me told me like your brother is missing yeah so i'm like like every time i'm like the first thing i ask them like hey is everything okay yeah yeah that's all i say like, that as well yeah, yeah. is everything okay is everything Are you okay okay yeah. now let's talk let's okay. talk yeah so i mean i get what you're saying yeah yeah i'm sorry to hear about your brother i hope i'm glad that he's no uh, he's safe cool. he's, he's good okay. now he's good yeah he's good yeah yeah i think it's just like you know you you um you want especially my mother because she didn't have an easy um she had a, a a nice privileged upbringing and then when she came to the uk yeah the, you know yeah, they had a divorce and everything so it was a bit Things it was a bit tough for her she was yeah. a sing- three children it's not her first language yeah. um she's hard of hearing in one ear so there's all these challenges but she's like such a superwoman i think everybody feels that about their mother but really yeah. she's she's coped with a lot and, and when you you're s- young you don't even realize no, you don't that realize. you don't you even pay attention normal. like ah it's mom she's yeah, taking yeah, yeah. care of me yeah, yeah, but yeah. once you get older you're like oh my, oh my god. god she was taking care of all of us honestly i think without complaining i can't even understand like i wouldn't be able to do i said i don't think i could do that i don't think i could do that like you're yeah. so much stronger than me yeah even now she cooks like this marathon food i'm like after one hour cooking i'm like yeah that's my limit yeah Thank you like very i mean much. that's okay where's jamie oliver's 30 <laughs> yeah. minute meals that's what yeah. i need in my life but you know what i mean yeah. she does all these things and she, you know it's just normal for her but i think when you see them you, you kind of want them to be happy you want to do things for them yeah. like when i used to be go traveling with her it was so nice to be able to give back a little bit and you know i didn't she paid for her own i paid for her. but sometimes to be able to treat them and stuff like that yeah it's so nice it's such a privilege so when they're older and their health is a bit like oh it's like so i have to facetime or call every day to make sure everything's yeah. okay and i get what you're like is everything okay i yeah. get because yeah. you're always checking yeah and so when we lost our brother he was it was a very long um process because he had uh, autoimmune disease since he was very young mm-hmm. and then it affected him he was fine like mentally he was fine but physically yeah. a lot of things that he couldn't do like sports and whatever okay. and then you know he affected his kidneys and things like that and so eventually the last four or five years it's been yeah which is one of the reasons why i i started to book um trips last minute because i was like i need to make sure if i'm gonna be needed here I can or if I have to yeah. cancel and yeah. you know I don't book expensive oh, yeah, you, don't you know uh, like yeah. trips I book yeah. like non-refundable yeah. last minute budget yeah. trips yeah. so I was like okay I need to literally like in a few days and then I book 
Um, so people were always like, we didn't know you were going to Uganda. And it's like, yeah, because yeah. I booked it last minute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it now was in my head. Now this is the time that I think I can actually just rush it, there. It's experience. safe to travel. Yeah. It's, safe. it's literally, it was like, it's safe to travel for me. Yeah. So although people see these like, you know, pictures, I'm not even going to say curated because I don't really curate pictures, but you yeah. know, um, of me traveling and everything. Usually at the back of my mind, it's like, okay, is everything okay? You have to, okay. you have to, you have to. Let me check That's in. the worst thing about being a grown up. And even at times, you know, I have like, because I have like this wide demography reach and even like extremely like even young people. Yeah. And at times when somebody complains to me, like, you know, my mom doesn't want to do this for me, I'm like, yo, bro, listen. Mm. Like, by the way, I can't just shut up, by the way. Mm -mm. Like, I'm always constantly telling people, like, by never complain, <laughs> never complain about your mom or your dad, because no. I will never, like, I would never, like, like that's just a no 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 because once you start growing older yeah you'll be like oh my god this person never complained even one day in their life and they're providing for me yeah they're taking care of me yeah. asking if everything is okay yeah and you're just complaining yeah so anybody like once you start growing older you start looking at things way differently exactly and it just changes the way you look at things like though you've mentioned like you know we, if you just think about it, you know, like, we won't be here forever. Yeah. And if we won't be here forever, you know, like, your mom or your dad, they won't be here forever. Yeah. You have to face it in your mind, like, there's a day that's going to come. Yeah. That you have to say goodbye to them. Yeah. So that, that's just always, like, but if you can't put, if that can sink in in your mind, I guess you're still not yet an adult. Because yeah. if it comes in your head, like you, you start, you just look at things differently. I think in terms of um, it, can, you can you can know I, it. I wish but I to could live forever. It. But you know what I mean. Accept, like to know it, accept, it's more about accepting. And accepting. I think even yeah. me, nobody like you know that day will come. But I don't want to think about. Don't it. I don't want to accept it. Although as an yeah. adult, you know it's a part of life. Yeah. And like losing my brother was a, it, We knew that it was coming. I think in the last three to, but it's still a shock. Yeah, and because he was such a like the light of the family, if I can say that, because this you're is still like, your brother, this yeah. is a void. You know, yeah. and when people yeah. ask me, I still say I have two brothers. Because even in because your head, it's still, yeah, brother, yeah, in you know, your head, it can be, yeah, in your head, it's that's still your bro. So you, you know, it's like for me to answer your question, <laughs> it's like if if my family is happy, then I'm happy. If they're, if they're safe, if they're, you know, even I like seeing them just laughing and enjoying things. And if they're stressed, yeah. I start to like, you just think. And sometimes you can't, there's, there's things that happen, like health things, whatever, that you, you are not in control of. But all you can do is do your best. Yeah. Because it's out of your hands, you know what I mean? Like, but there you wish you there was do. things that in your hands that you could change, but you can't but always can't change do. them. Yeah. So for me, number one is when they're happy, yeah. I would like to have my own family. I think one of the things that I, I, the other day I was thinking, I was like, you know, you never know if you're going to like have, a, have children, have a, you never know, like God blesses whoever wants to bless. Yeah. And it's just like, just that worry of like, because I know I try to look after my mother, like imagine just being the old person and you don't have anyone to look after you. Yeah. Not that children should be there to look after you only. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Um, in I think in a lot of like African Middle Eastern societies there is that like yeah, structure I, community I, structure yeah, right because once you start slowing down I think you always want to see like you know your kids yeah. coming to visit you because yeah. if, if they're not there to visit you I mean yeah might just gonna did be did you even raise them right <laughs> yeah oh yeah no, oh, I'm just yeah. joking 